Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS ROG G17 2023 model laptop. The exact model is at G713PI-DS94 and in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can remove the battery or replace the battery in case you want to. And if yours is not holding up any more charge or discharging really quickly, you might want to replace your battery. Just remember by re replacing the battery, you're not going to modify anything in the system or you're not, you don't need to configure anything. I'll try to get the link for this battery. I'll leave it in the video description as the tools and the materials that I use for this video. I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using and we can get it started. So first thing first, I like to work in a workshop tile or nice towel so you don't scratch it. These are really nice laptops. So first thing first, you need a screwdriver set. A good screwdriver set is really a must. I use the iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. These are made out of S2 class steel. These are I mean toughened steel will last you many years. If you do get their pro set, they will do include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, get yourself the basic set. And for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers without scratching them because they have a really soft edges. And you need some spatula type or plastic or wood type stick. And with all this on hand, you can do the service. So first thing first, once you flip it over upside down, if the front end is facing you and the back is facing the other way, you don't want to touch the right in front screw. Leave this screw for the last. So we're going to remove everything except this screw. Because this screw has a little seal lock that will prevent it from coming out. I will explain the reason for that in a second. So I'm going to go for the size of the screws and the locations. The front end is, uses a short screws. So there's a three short screws on the front end. And three long screws is the one in the mid back and the one in the center. Center, mid back, these are the long screws. The mediums are the side and the back corners. So go ahead and remove all the screws and keep them in a different pile so you don't mismatch them. Also, if you guys find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, so you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, once we remove all the screws, now what we need to do to work on the screw that I told you. So as soon as I start rotating this screw, you're going to see a gap, this cover pushing each other away, and they're going to open a little gap in there. That's what you want to do. And you want to stop it right as soon as you hear a click sound. Not as soon, you can do a few clicks to be sure. There, you can do a few hundred more clicks, and that's it. All right. Now, this gap is going to help you to stick the guitar pick in between the plastic so you don't have to struggle. So what are we going to do? We're going to stick it right there and we're just going to twist it left and right like this. Work yourself all around. That's what you want to do because you're releasing these tiny clips underneath. And they do make a sound, big click sound, soft click sound. So don't worry about it. That's normal. That's what you want to hear. Once you did that, you want to do the side. The side is starting from this corner. Again, you want to work yourself. Be careful with the USBs. In here by the grill, you can stick it right there. Again, you want to rotate. Once you get to the back end, there you go. You want to stop right there. You want to do the left and right side, both sides. This side is much easier. There's no USB port. The grill is not focusing, but you get the idea. There you go. There. Once you did the sides, you don't need to do the back, but if you want to be really cautious, go ahead and do the back. The back is really soft. It will come up very easy. There you go. But make sure you do not lift up or yank the bottom cover. Keep the bottom cover close to the laptop as much as you can. Now put it down and lift up the back end. Bring it towards yourself like that, like you're opening a book. Because these two flex cables are for the side LEDs or front LEDs. And there we have it. Now, the battery, I don't want to disconnect these cables. You could if you want to. But the battery is right over here. Let me put this one over here. Now, to disconnect the battery, it's really simple. All you need to do is to push this tiny cover. Let me zoom in. 
All right, I'm gonna disconnect this flex cable. So I'm gonna lift up this lock upward 90 degree. This lock upward 90 degree. I'm gonna slide this flex cable back. And I'm gonna slide this one back too. There we go. So we can actually work better, remove the bottom cover. And I can show you this clip. To remove this um, battery, you wanna push this clip backward. So there you go, grab this metal thing about half a millimeter over so you can uh, clear the white cover. And then you wanna put the opening tool or this plastic underneath the jack and just twist it, bring it upward towards the ceiling. That's what you wanna do. Once you're done with that, all you need to do is to unscrew the battery. There's one screw right there, one right here, one in the other side, and one right by the warranty label right here. These laptops, they don't avoid the warranty. You can actually remove them. The rear itself put on a side. There's no problem. But if yours already been blown up or it's been a while, and your warranty is already voided. So remove the screws. These are tiny screws and the battery will come out pretty easy. It's a really thick battery. It's a 90 watt hour battery, 15.4 volt. The exact model for this one, it is a C41N2130-1. So I'll try to get the link for this one. I'll leave it in the video description so you can purchase yours. Just remember, for this battery, you do need to have the cable with you. So you can push this cable away from here. You see it says positive and negative. Negative is black, positive is the red. So you wanna push this one to the new battery but they don't give you the cables, okay? And then you wanna put the battery down evenly. Now we're gonna grab this jack. We wanna bring it down straight, don't go sideways. It's straight so you don't shorten. Bring it carefully straight down and push it towards the motherboard. Nicely push down. And use your finger, just bring this metal cover, slide it over. About like less than a half a millimeter. And then you wanna put the four screws on the battery. There's a little trick for the battery that you should do if you want yours to last longer and doesn't explode or pretty much last longer. I'm gonna tell you how to do that. All right, once you're done with this one, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover. You wanna slide this bottom cover, the connectors back in, open up the lock, slide it from the back end. There you go, once you slide it in, just lock it down. Same thing in here. And lock it down. Once you're done with that, all you need to do is just twist it back up, close the lid, put it on top. Now you wanna push the corners, the back, you wanna hear those tiny click sounds on the side, except the one on the right. You don't wanna push the one on the right corner front. And if you see any openings on anywhere else, you just wanna open up the screen and you just wanna pinch it and it will close itself. Do the back end too, on the side. So pretty much anything open and gap, just pinch them together. And the last thing down here will be to just tighten up this screw and put the rest of the screw on the cover. Now, regarding how you're supposed to do your initial charge and discharge, it, it is really important. So I recommend you guys to not power on the laptop right away. Leave it off, connect the charger, and leave it charging at least for five to six hours. After five to six hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger connected and discharge the laptop and down to 20 or 30 percent whatever you can and after that you want to power it off again leave it charging for five to six hours and after that you can just use it as you wish that initial charge and discharge it is a really crucial for the brand new batteries if you want them to last longer and once every few months you should do this discharge and charge and turn it off while you're charging that's healthy for the battery. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment or try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.